Hey everyone, Brianna here from Stinky Canuck. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial on the E-Leaf Pico. This is, comes with the Pico and Amilo 3 Mini. It's very tiny. And it comes in white, black, stainless, uh, hot pink, and gray. So I'm using the white one. It takes an 18650 battery, which goes in here. Your battery needs to be 25 amps or higher to um, run in this device. We'll start with the Milo 2. So this is a top fill tank, which means you unscrew the top. And it fills right down the side. There's two sides there, you can fill it down. And the airflow on this is pretty neat. So you don't actually see air holes. You just twist this little base here. So if you put it all the way to the right, It's a pretty hard pull, so you have to do mouth to lung. You can do direct to lung, but it's a little more difficult. So it, it's made for, it seems it's made more for mouth to lung that way. If you turn it all the way to the right, you get the um, huge amount of airflow and can do a, a direct to lung a lot easier. Great vapor production. Micro USB chargeable. You can also upgrade the firmware through here with the uh, cord that you get. So when you open up your box, you'll get the device, you'll get the Milo 3 Mini, you'll get your micro USB charger. You get uh, an extra 0.5 ohm coil, plus there's a 0.5 ohm in the tank. You get um, some extra O-rings as well. You can change out the color of this to hot pink if you want. The other cool thing with this is that the selection arrows are on the bottom of the device and usually they're up here somewhere so they're down here. This is a temperature control, you can also do um, uh, watts as well. So it's got your standard screen, your battery, your ohms, your watts. When you want to change these settings you hit the power the fire button three times. Turning it off and on is five clicks as per the norm with every device. So three clicks. So you'll see now you're in wattage mode and then you hit the up and down arrows here to go through. So there's watts, there's bypass mode, which is really neat, that uh, turns it into a mech mod essentially, so it's pulling the power right from the battery. And then there is nickel, titanium, stainless steel. And the other cool thing with this is that if you put in a canfall coil and you're accidentally in temperature control mode, it'll switch you back automatically so you you won't get that nasty awful disgusting flavor trying to vape on temp control with the uh, canthal coil it'll switch it it'll sense it for you which is really nice it goes up to 600 degrees fahrenheit and then it does a, a round robin kind of thing so you get to 600 degrees fahrenheit if you keep pushing the button it'll put you into celsius mode and you can also choose that way we don't want temp control so we'll switch out of that and go back here there's also M1, M2, and M3, which is the TCR mode, and that will run uh, coils 0.05 to 1.5 ohm. You can lock and unlock uh, these buttons here by holding them both down for three to five seconds, and that will lock these. It doesn't um, lock the fire button. And you can also do stealth mode stealth on it says and that's holding the minus and the power button for three seconds so what that does is you can still vape it but the screen won't shine so it's kind of stealthy and in wattage mode this will run the canthal coils from 0.1 to 3.5 ohm so that's my little review on the pico it's super awesome super tiny uh, really good battery life I mean, for the size, like it can take an 18650, which is really cool. And um, yeah, that's my little tutorial slash review on the E-Leaf Pico. You can find these at www.stinkyconnect.com.